Hey guys, it's Jatan2 here, and today I'm going to be talking about a few changes coming to shotguns that are currently in the CTE. Yes, they're getting a rebalance of sorts, but it isn't exactly a nerf like many people say it is. So for this video, I'll be talking about the R870, as up until recently, the KSG was not in the CTE, and I'm still unsure as to its stats or what has changed, so we'll come back to that. So what exactly has happened to the R870? Well, the part that most people interpret it as a nerf is that at long range, instead of doing 23 damage per pellet, you'll now end up doing only 8 damage per pellet past 180 studs. Now personally, I'd have been okay with just this. I mean, shotguns should not be effective at long range, and this change makes that happen. This means that even if all your pellets miraculously hit your target, even in the torso at long range, you still won't get the kill. This means that no more crane camping with a shotgun. Of course, some people really like their crane camping with shotguns, and insisted that this was a nerf. But they missed probably the most important thing about this rebalance. The spread on the R870 is now incredibly tight compared to what it used to be. This means that the pellets are much more tightly clustered near the center of your reticle, and much more likely to hit exactly what you're aiming at. Now you may be thinking, John, isn't the whole point of a shotgun to hit everything in front of you and not have to aim? And you might be right. But with some more spread, you also have a smaller chance of actually getting enough pellets to land in one target to kill them. Therefore, in order to guarantee a one-hit, you had to be close enough that the spread wouldn't be a problem. But now, with a tighter spread, it's much easier to get all the pellets to end up in the same target, and thus you don't have to be as close to get a one-hit. So to sum it all up, with the tighter spread, you may not hit as many targets in front of you, but those you hit are much more likely to be one-hits, even at slightly longer ranges. So in short, the R870 has an even longer effective one-hit range, while also being next to useless at seriously long ranges, just like it should be. Thus, it trades off a little bit of the easiness of, it, of use for much more effectiveness. So, won't be as easy to use, but also be more effective if you, act, if you manage to use it well. So, don't be surprised if you have to aim a little more with your shotguns from now on. But anyways, that'll be all for this video. I'll do one of these with the KSG as soon as I know exactly what's changed, and if it's significant enough. Let me know what you think of these changes. Do you think it's more balanced? Do you think it needs to be changed more? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!